In the 1930s, the Herefords of Lismore were builders finding it hard to source enough timber. The solution was to go to the bush and mill their own. Now, three generations later, this family company is one of Australia's biggest suppliers of local appearance-grade timber products, such as floorboards, but it's been quite a ride. We could never have imagined, I think, that we'd be where we are today, 50 years ago. But it, it is a matter of being prepared to always look, instead of concentrating on the black dot, you look at the white page and see what opportunities are there and where you can move to and keep up with the research and the development, coming up with different, different products, meeting the modern need. Family friend and the head of Australia's largest forestry school at Southern Cross University says the change in the industry has been phenomenal. Progressively the industry has changed from uh, the rainforest harvesting into uh, native eucalypt forest and now into plantation forest. So over the course of 150 years we've seen a complete change in uh, the way the industry works. Uh, some of it led by others, some of it led by uh, the forest industry itself. This mill at Lismore, where the family ran its business since 1965, is now scaled back because once again change has meant moving operations. The massive trees which were milled here in years gone by are no longer. The trees now have a smaller diameter, so new mills have been set up. But there's a lovely hint of history about the place. Alright, let's go get us some timber. <laughs> Way. 15 years ago, after the Regional Forest Agreement was signed and having just recovered from a devastating fire which destroyed the mill, a family meeting was held and the future of the company was on the agenda. There was a time during the process of the RFA or after, after where government decisions were made and our, our wood supply agreement with uh, Forest New South Wales supply was actually cut in half. And that was a time when companies like us were asked to either uh, step up or, or basically retire. We had a, a serious family meeting at that time and decided that it was a business that we loved and knew and felt that we could do a lot more with it than we had up to that point. And so we had to go to the bank and borrow a serious amount of money. And yeah, we grabbed it with both hands and we've, we've gone with it since then and never looked back. When the family decided to stay in the industry, it was either sink or swim. You had to tool up or get out. So that's exactly what they did. This is just the latest one of their ventures, a brand new state-of-the-art sawmill to replace the old one. Keep changing as we go. This is an industry full of change and uh, we're going to keep bending and going with the change. Does it get uh, disheartening at times though? No. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a challenge and, it's, and when you get on top of it, that's great. <laughs> we went all around the world, had a look at what people were doing in Germany, USA uh, and elsewhere and, 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 and started to form a view that the timber we had here was pretty unique in the world and the, the appearance of it and the density of it um, really lend itself towards appearance grade products more so than we've done in the past. For the first time we could really produce a product that would be uh, of a standard you could sell anywhere in the world. Okay, Jake, just give us a look at this pack over here and tell us what's, uh, what's unusual about this. This is our green tree flooring range, which has been produced from plantation forests. This is our blonde, we do it in two colours, a blonde and a rose. Obviously with the right sort of silver culture, the right sort of forestry, we can produce a, a nice graded product. These are, these are eight inch wide boards. You can see the natural feature in, in the product. So um, a lot of people be flat out telling the difference between this and a bit of native hardwood, that's I guess. That's right, that's right. Australians really love their, their Australian hardwoods and, and that's probably where they're valued greatest. We have some of the hardest timbers in the world and for flooring and stairs and other sorts of things, really nothing can, can compete with it. With the new mill and a separate factory which dries and creates the products, this innovative family has stayed ahead of the game by also ensuring the next generation will have access to timber, believing they can create saw log quality timber from plantations they have planted on their farm. If you treat your species well, uh, manage it well uh, and prune it, um, you can be pretty sure what's inside the log and what, you, what recovery you're going to get. Whereas when you're dealing with uh, native forest species, in some ways it's a little bit easier, but there's many more uncertainties. You're not sure what's going to unfold when you cut up a log. Well, I think it's got a, a great, there's a great story there with timber and um, yeah, I think it's got a great future.
Perfect Hardwood has been a family business for over 70 years and creates quality appearance grade timber products. The company's heart and soul being floorboards made from more than 15 local timber species from both native and plantation forests. Favourite species include ironbark, spotted gum and black butt. The family also harvests and grows their own trees on their own property. To find out more, visit www.herfords.com.au. That's it for another episode of Going Bush. We hope you enjoyed the show, and here's a little look at what we've got coming up next week. We look into just where your copy paper actually comes from and how it's made. We visit the Green Triangle in South Australia and check out a pine tree or two or 15 million. And they don't build them like this anymore. The remarkable story of WeatherTex. That's next time on Going Bush. <laughs>